this is Zhang Zhou. It has been a while since my first demo video on OpenCAD. Good news is, I've quit my job and I'm designing a new kit that can be made with reasonable price. It will be released this fall. You can follow Petoy Cam on Twitter or subscribe to petoy.com for my random updates towards the release date. Today's video is for testing some servo samples I have. Just like the engine of a car, servos are the heart of a robot. Considering cost, I'm using low-end servos and trying to utilize the best out of their materials. The servos used in my coming kit will be a balanced choice considering all the aspects shown in this test. There are dimensions, weight, build, signal, torque, noise, and more. I will show examples how I measure those parameters. I won't show all the measurements, but you can find my conclusions in the Google Sheet linked in the video description. I got some free samples from an online store, so I'm also posting their purchase link for sex. Measure the dimension of a servo. I'm using a regular digital caliper with a cracked screen. First, make sure that the caliper is set to zero when I start. And then just go ahead and measure all these dimensions. For my application, I'm most interested in these three dimensions. That's the length. 22.69 millimeter. The thickness is 12 mm and the height about 20.62 mm. Note that when I'm recording these numbers, I will round them to their nearest 0.1 mm. So if I get 2.2 Zero 06 millimeter that will be 2.1 millimeter. Now comes the most interesting part to measure the servo's performance in action. I have this tunable power supply that I can set its voltage just like this. Very convenient. And the power supply is connected to this PWM signal generator. Note that when there is no servo connected, it's already drawing 26 milliamp from the power supply. So this should be considered after you connect your servo to the signal generator and want to measure the servo's idle current. So this signal generator has multiple functions such as setting the middle point at a scanning PWM signal and you can tune the speed and you can set the signal by hand. To measure the store talk, I need some setup. Basically I need to know the length of the servo arm and the force used to stop it in the vertical direction to the servo arm. So I made this 3D printed servo arm which is 100 millimeter and I can fix it to this platform at the same height of this scale. And I can rotate the servo arm and let it 
hit the scale and stop. In the meanwhile, I can read the weight from the scale and the current draw from the power supply. So that's how my measurement will go for all the servos. I'm also interested in the noise level of these cheap servos. Basically, they are all noisy, but it would be helpful to compare which one is the uh, most silent. So I will put the signal generator to scanning signal with the fastest scanning speed and use this decibel app on iPhone to measure the noise. In the end, I want to show you this special 360 degree continuous rotation servo. It looks identical to the regular servo, but there's some modification to make it continuously rotate. Although this 360 is not all controllable, you will see what I mean. In the middle range of the signal, you can still control the rotational angle. However, when it is outside the middle range, it will start to continuously rotate. It does stop at the same position. And it can figure out which is the best direction to reach that position. So the controllable angle range is about 60 degrees. If you are making some robot that has a wheel, then this feature might be useful.